Hello once again Bard Haters and welcome to another fine We Hate Bards Let's Play. I'm Ben and this is the original Fallout 1. Um, a game which incidentally I, you know, I've not done much with. I mean I love Fallout 3, I absolutely love Fallout New Vegas in spite of all its crazy glitches and uh, randomly crashing on me. Um, I, I mean I want to love it more than I do and it just it, it won't let me in. It's, what, it's one of those kind of relationships. But um... Yeah, I always hear about how, like, these original ones were, you know, what kind of started it all, and kind of some of the way that they used to do it with turn -based com more turn-based combat, more, um, uh, the old-style, I guess, x uh, type things. So, um, always been wanting to kind of look into it, I managed to find this on, a, a place called Good Old Games, um, which, rather than Steam, yeah, this is not Steam this time, it's, it's Good Old Games, uh, who apparently has a bunch of other things, including a game I really want to do on this channel, uh, called System Shock 2. Um, and I'm gonna look into doing that at some point, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But for right now, let's just see what exactly, um, Fallout 1 is like. Okay. Oh, by the way, I apologize if the, uh, things don't actually go to full screen. In order to get this to work without recording a large portion of my actual desktop and looking all weird, I had to change the, uh, the resolution and it's, yeah. So. Characters. Max Stone. Ooh, I love that name, Max Stone. His strength is 10. Fantastic. Um, Stone and his friends, Ms. Strong's person currently living in the vault. He is known for his physical strength and stamina. He would make the ideal volunteer due to his tremendous size and strength. It is unfortunate that his intelligence was affected after birth. Oh, one labor dropped him on his head. Doesn't care that he might have to leave the vault. Well, then that's probably good. Oh. This is going to be one of those things where, like, I get betrayed and forced out of the vault and then not allowed to come back. I feel like that might be a thing. That's like something vault people would do, based on what I know. Um, so yeah, strength 10, perception 4, which is fair. Endurance is 9. Oh, this guy seems really tough. I might end up going... I, I, I almost always play the tough guys in video games. A lot of times they're D&D &D or whatever. Um, yeah, luck, fair, intelligence. Intelligence isn't bad. It isn't, you know, it's not great. I mean, 4 is a little bit below average, but, uh, yeah, that's not terrible. Um, hold on. Who else we got? We got, uh, Natalia. Natalia. Uh, grandchild of a Russian diplomat who worked at Thing. She's talented acrobat. How does that work? Um, intelligent, resourceful, understanding, da, 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 da. So this is the charismatic person, is it? Uh, yeah. Seven charis charisma, seven intelligence, ten agility. Oh, so the speedy character as well. This might not be a bad character either, depending on how I want to do this. And yeah, points in sneak, steal, and, and unarmed. Wow, unarmed is really high for a person who is, yeah. Um, what's what's a, a good old max is unarmed? Oh, even higher. He also has points in guns and a crap ton of melee damage. And her melee damage is, whoa, okay. So probably not her for, for melee type stuff. Ah, Albert. Oh, you know, Albert's a charismatic guy. Um, yeah, he's a nine charisma and uh, then average everything else. Uh, leader of a small vocal minority, um, dedicated to the role of a negotiator, often able to communicate. He is closest to what was once known as a lawyer. Oh, he's a lawyer, is he? Well, let's let's not go for him. Okay, so do I want to go with Speedy Girl or do I want to go with you know what? Let's it's because he's kind of my guy. Um, also, what does modify do? Can we actually change things? Okay, Max Stone, age twenty-three. Oh, I can actually change that. Can I? How low can I go with this? 16? Done. Can I make him... Let's make him a transvestite, why not? Max Stone, 17 year old... Oh, I can even change his name! Maxine... Um... Um... Oh... What is his name Maxine? He's not Max anymore, he's Maxine. That's that's his choice. He gets the ability to do that. Oh wait, and also I can dump things to put him in other things? Oh, that's something I kinda wanna do. Um Okay, so he says his intelligence was very really like not good. So what we're gonna do with that. Hold on. Intel knowledge wisdom, a high intelligence is important for any character. Modifies number of new skill points per level dialogue. Oh, so it does actually. Ooh, I don't know if I want to dump that. 
I, if anything, I might want that. You know what, Charisma? I don't ever use Charisma in any Fallout games. Let's let's actually make him a bit smarter, shall we? Um, <laughs> perception. I don't really know what perception is going to do. Uh, for for sharpshooter modifies. Well, I'm more of a going to be a melee thing, so I think I could dump a couple points out of that. One more point in intelligence, and let's put a point into. Uh, let's put a point into agility. Actually, whoa, hold on. Important for any active character. Action points, armor class. Oh, so it doesn't actually affect guns in this case. What is guns affected by? Or does it? No, it doesn't. It affects guns. Definitely affects guns. So let's, yeah, let's go with that. We're going to dump charisma, dump perception a little bit, and uh, increase my intelligence and agility. Actually, here's another question. Can I bring a stat above 10? Nope. Still can't do that. All right. And then optional traits, bruiser, heavy-handed, um, if those are anything like the like the three in New Vegas, I think I know what they do. Um, and all of these seem good. Yeah, tag seals, small guns, big guns, and unarmed. Um, yep, that works. That's that's good. Done. Boom. So, Maxine. Ah, you're here. Yes, good. hello, grizzled old man. A problem. A big one. Controller <laughs> chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Why is it that every time in every Fallout game ever, all the vaults are always like, "Yeah, we had something break down. We need you to go find parts to fix." I mean, I understand regular maintenance can only do so much, but it seems like every single freaking game, you're sent on at least sixty or seventy quests to go find, you know, a random, like, you know, new 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 vent new vent filters or um. What are all the crap the Brotherhood had you find in Vegas? Yeah, all just sorts of random stuff to go fix things that are going wrong in the vault. We estimate we have four to five months before four to the five months. Oh, so there's a, there's a time limit. We need that chip. What happens if I don't get it back in time? Map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to oh. start, I think. Okay, so first quest is go to Vault 15. Look, just to be check safe. for a thing. Okay. Sounds good. Let's let's do what you say. Um. Yep, and. You have the big vault. Those are really thin vault doors compared to what I'm used to with the vaults. Um, long corridor. Uh, that's probably locking me out. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, no, there's the vault door. The big, meaty vault door that I'm used to. Why does it, why does it need the arm to open it on the outside? Just kind of curious. It seems like a poor design choice. Okay. And I'm guessing this is going to take us into the tutorial where they teach us how the game works. Although this is a bit of an older game, so that might be that might be um most of what I'm looking for. That might. Oh, hello. Hey, we have. Uh, I can move. Well, it's okay. So what do we got? Um, currently we are unarmed. Oh. Oh, I can go punch rats. Let's go punch a rat. Oh. Well, poo. Um, can I move up there? Let's, uh, let's move up there. Um. Oh, you hit me, you bastard. For three hit points, that's... How much HP do I have? Four. Oh, I'm fine then. Well, then let's punch him. Oh, no, apparently we're kicking him. Apparently that's a thing that's happening. Also, is that a female character sprite? Did that actually... Did my change actually do this? Because that would be amazing if it did. Um... Okay. Ah, so this is how things work. So... Okay, so apparently in this... Um... Uh, oh! We have a thing. I can do that. I can click on it, and I can... I can look. You see nothing out of the ordinary. She looks on. Oh. Hold on. Let me just real quick check out character. Oh, it's not actually going to show me like the picture, is it? Oh well. Unarmed, and let's punch him again. Is this the best way to do this? I'm not. I'm not sure. I think there's a way if we do this that we can... Yeah, there we go. We just have to double click. You need three action points. Well, that's annoying. Um, how do I... How do I wait? Oh, that's the menu. Uh, never mind, I won't deal with that. Inventory. 
You don't have enough action points to use inventory. I don't need action points to use inventory. Okay, and uh, oh, there's end turn. That's all we have to. Damn it! I got hit again. This is not going well. Um. Oh, at least he's dead. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So those are action. That means action points are a lot more useful in this game than they are in three or New Vegas. Because in New Vegas or in uh, the more recent Fallout's, you can just uh, you can just not use action points ever and play it like a shooter, which I normally do. Um, except when I'm trying to like sneak up on people and I'm having a hard time making the game do what I want it to do. Um, let's move over. Let's move over by this guy. And fight this rat. See if we can aggro him. There we go. Ah, damn it! These rats keep freaking biting me. Well, not for much longer. Yep, you're dead. You're screwed. Yeah, so... Ah, double click to do things. Oh! I walk within range of him. Well, let's, uh, let's kill him real quick. Oh, apparently he's done. But yeah, like I was saying, I, I normally use uh, action points for sneaking in New Vegas. I um, should say New Vegas because, you know, like, it's easier than saying both of them. Uh, but in New Vegas, I, I usually use uh, uh, action points just for when I'm sneaking to make sure that, oh, dick tits. Okay, oh, I actually have to... Ooh. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Um, Okay, I, the place I need to go is over to the right. So let's, let's go over to the right, shall we? And see what kind of stuff we run into. Oh, see if you can tell us how many, like, the days we have. Ooh, what's this? Let's check out this place. See what's up here. Um. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a town! Oh, this is nice. Wait, welcome to Shady Sands. Wait, Shady Sands? This is... Is this the NCR? I think this is the NCR, because in New Vegas they talk about how the NCR's very first town was Shady Sands. And, yeah, so I, I think... How far back are we? I'm not certain. I should probably check the date on there and then compare it to um, the ones in 3 in New Vegas. Because those take place roughly at the same time, I do know. Um, to the south you see an Adobe wall. Oh, it's... Oh, it's going to give us straight up, like, D&D &D style, you know, GM, this is what's going on, flavor text. Also, can I punch this dog? Um, probably not a good idea, though. Uh, da, 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 hold on. Ooh, I can talk. That's how I talk to people. I'd like some information. Um, I want to know about this place. Peaceful community. Da, 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 da. We are not plied with raiders. Oh, the plied with raiders and rat scorpions. I might be able to help you with that. <laughs> I love. I love these old school, old school things that apparently we never grew out of the way conversation trees work tell me more about this tell me more about that <clears throat> like I, I I dare any one of you next time you go to a party try and have a full-on conversation talking like an RPG character oh you got a, oh you just got a new TV tell me more about your new TV um it's you know it's a Sony it's 42 inches tell me more about Sony uh, they're a company that makes TVs and video games tell me more about video games. Um, anyway, uh, da, da, da. I already said I, I already know about the place. Wait, who's looking for an antidote? I, I, I probably should have been Lee. Ah, Aridesh. Take me to the, wait, take me to the Rascorpion Caves. Oh. They can show me the way to the Rascorpion. Oh. And now I'm at a Rascorpion Cave. Okay. Um, I should probably check my inventory to see if I have any... Wait, I have weapons? I have a gun and I... And a knife. And bullets. Okay. And, wait. Don't want to go with... No, I have bigger on armor. I should go brass knuckles. Brass knuckles seems like it'd be better. Also, what are these things? That's a flare. That's oh, those are stim packs. Okay, I have four stim packs. Well, I should probably be careful. Um, all right. Well, let's um. Uh... Wait, hold on, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I how do I change how do I change weapons? Change guns. 
Um. Ah, red button. Red button over there. There we go. So I have brass knuckles. So hopefully this means I'll be doing more on number. Also, my HP restores uh, automatically when I travel. So that, that should make this game quite easy, I would think. I mean, automatic HP. I know, know you get a little bit of that in uh, New Vegas and 3. Um. Uh, ah, there we go. Oh, he hit me for... Oh, he hit me twice! Oh, and I'm poisoned! Okay, not great. Things are not going spectacular so far. Um... Uh-oh. Um, maybe I shouldn't have tried to take on Rat Scorpion so quickly. Uh, yep. That sucks. Um... Ten hit points. So yeah, I've done, according to this thing, I've done 25 points of damage, and he's still not dead yet. Also, oh, I'm poisoned again. Ow! This is, this is bad. Yes! Red Scorpion's dead! Um, now, how do I loot the body? How do I loot the body? Um, Rad Scorpion Tail. And done. Now, does poison do... Continual damage as I walk. Because it says I'm poisoned. Oh, why am I still in combat? Let's end the combat. I don't want to fight anymore. So, now we can probably just move um, over other places. Yeah, I don't appear to be taking damage um, even though I'm poisoned. Um, although I am down to about half my actual health. Um probably shouldn't wait. You know what? You know what? This this seems like a bad place I shouldn't be. Um, I'm fighting rat scorpions with, by punching them in the face. Which normally is not a problem in, you know, the other games, but I don't know anything about this one. This seems to be a bit more about... What? Oh. Uh, oh. Hold on. Let's zoom out. Ah! Okay, so there's Shady Sands. Actually, let's go back into Shady Sands. Um... Do I have to actually... Ah, there we go. Okay, so... Let's, um... Let's forget about that for now. We were told to talk to their leader named... Eridesh. Oh, now I'm taking damage from poison. Well, hopefully I'll heal it automatically like I normally do. Um... What's in this place? Ah! Is this... Is this a hotel or someone's house? Let's, let's go in and talk to a person. Let's go talk to this guy. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Oh, an actual... Wow, that is a terrifying face model. That is absolutely horrifying. But, uh... I'm from a small village west of here, exploring, and mean you no harm. Or... Oh, what's it to you? My reason to keep from a vault. My people are dying of thirst. Well, let's be honest. Uh, let's, yeah, let's be honest with them. Let's, uh... I shall believe you. For now. You certainly... What do you wish to know? Um, okay. Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are secrets <coughs> of that. Yeah. I, I I would assume there are a few cities somewhere south of that, if you go far enough. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. Um. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Rid us of those rad scorpion. Oh. So apparently, it's our, actually our quest to go take care of those rad scorpions. Um. Greetings. What? Can we barter with this guy? Oh, we can barter with this guy. What's he have? He has that. He has. Oh, those are caps. Took me a second to realize. Yeah, he's got. He's got caps. Obviously, I don't because I'm from a vault. But uh, yeah. Um. Okay, so there's nothing we need. Um. What's this do? Oh, this is Aridesh. This is a guy I was I was meant to talk to who who knows stuff around town. Um, let's back out of the conversation then. Let's uh, apparently dealing with the rat scorpions is in fact what I'm supposed to do. So let's let's go back and talk to that guy and ask him to take us to rat scorpions again because I don't know where those are. Um, yep. Talk to dude. Take me to the rat scorpion caves. Yep. And then we just need to go automatically right back. Um. In that case, we might actually need to use one of our stim packs already.
we go. Alright. We gain 19 hit points. Let's go deal with this guy again. Let's see if we can aggro him like just by standing here. There he goes. He's got to move to get us now, so that means we'll get the first turn. Yep. Oh, it takes, it takes action points to get there. That's fine, though. Oh. Hold on, wait. Can we then just move out of range? Oh! Oh, he missed! Oh, this is fantastic. Alright, now, apparently... Ha! I figured out how to do combat. We fight and we run away. I mean, I, you know what? I'm being stupid. I have a gun and these things are horrible. So, let's use the gun for a little bit. And let's see if we can clear these guys out using the gun. And then we'll save the uh, the brass knuckles for, uh, for, I guess, slightly easier opponents. Is that as far as I can go? Apparently, that's the edge of the screen. We're, so we're at the top part of the screen already, and all we have to do... Okay. Ah! So he's going to move towards us. Um. Uh-oh. Ooh, I have to aim. I have to aim? <sighs> hold on. Hold on. Cancel. What's What happens if I just do this? What happens if I just, like, shoot? I miss. Well done, gun. Um. Shoot him again. Head for four. Wow, this is a freaking shitty gun. I'm going back to the brass knuckles. Those, those seem to hit a bit more often. Um. Oh, he, he keep missing. Uh, this is actually really, really good. Um, punch him a couple times, and then we move away. Ow. Oh! Oh! Okay. So this is not going spectacular. Uh, really not going spectacular. Also, I don't understand what my AC... I'm assuming that means armor class. Maybe I'm wrong. I should probably check that at some point. Uh, punch him a couple more times. Hey, he's dead! Also, I just realized I forgot to search the last Rat Scorpion I came across. Um. Let's see, yep. And another tail. We can probably sell those, I'm sure, I'm sure, for some amount of money. Get some caps from people. Um... To... Okay, before I go any further, let's uh, let's use another one. I'm gonna try the gun again. It, it it let me down last time, but maybe it won't let me down this time. It let me down this time. Well, that's not great. All right, it's gonna move. Wait, if I hover over this, can I see what the 15%?! What?! Why is it only 15%?! I have like a 63% in that skill! Why is there a 15... Oh, jeez. What if I aim slightly else? Oh, it doesn't even matter where I aim, it's gonna be 15%. This is annoying. Um... Well, I guess we're just gonna punch another Rad Scorpion to death. What the fuck do you mean out of rent? Okay, fuck it. I'm, mo I'm moving back again as well. Please don't hit me. Ow! It hit me and for more points. Oh, and I'm poisoned again. God damn it. Why am I always poisoned? Um, and the turn. Oh! It knocked me down. It knocked me down. You were critically hit for 12 points. Bruise will look nice and maybe the scars will make good party. You seem a bit too excited about this game. I kind of, I kind of get the feeling like I'm back in, in, in playing Dark Souls again. 
um, or you know, in a Chris Frank Cthulhu campaign. You, you seem a bit too into me getting like brutally hurt. Oh, good. I have to take a step forward before I can do anything. <coughs> well, at least he's dead now. Let's uh, let's lift the body and take another rat scorpion tail. Now, at this point, I should probably just leave because it looks like I've holy shit. There, there are a lot more of these guys. There are a lot more of these guys. I'm down to two sim packs. All right. So, idea, we bail. We bail, and we come back later with, um, with, I don't know. We come back with better stuff. Why, why can't I move there? Are you, hold on, I just need to test something real quick. Okay, I thought that might have been the AI pathfinding, and apparently I was wrong. Oh uh, yeah, AI, AI pathfinding seems alright if you're close enough to do it, just not, you know, way the hell over there. Alright, um, and then we'll step into the shadows, and, okay. So we're gonna leave Shady Sands alone for now. This, this isn't even where we're supposed to be. This isn't actually where we're supposed to be located doing things. We're supposed to be going and, uh... Finding a water chip here. So let's go there and find a find a damn water chip. Let's let's do our freaking jobs. You know, they only have like what, four or five months? The Okay, this is the other thing I needed to check. Um 2161. So this is like thirty years. <laughs> this is like thirty years or so before uh Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Which still doesn't kind of make sense. Or wait, no, more than that. It's gotta be like a hundred years. Yeah, because it's twenty-two. Uh, 2280, so about 120 years um, before Fallout New Vegas. So, okay, that that's more like enough time. Like, 20 years is not a lot of time to go from being this to being supermassive military in control of most of the western part of the United States. Um, that just doesn't seem feasible. I mean, hell, he, well, I guess Alexander the Great kind of did it, but he, then again, he did get most of the troops from his dad, kind of like Donald Trump. Oh, anyway, let's, uh... Oh, Vault 15. Alright, let's go into the Vault 15 vault. There's a shed here. This does not look like a vault. Which I guess is kind of the point. Uh, let's go down the ladder. And, ooh. I can't move. Yeah, having to shift back and forth between icons is kind of um, a weird little thing that I've been having to do. No, uh, it's gonna take some getting used to. I, I, I definitely gotta say. Ah, I get to punch this thing, and oh, geez, there's a lot of rats here. There's a lot of rats here. All right. Um, and there we go. And that thing's going to. Uh, I guess I have to end the turn. Yeah, this really is old style turn based combat. You move, you have to get close enough to hit them. Um. Dicks. Alright, end the turn. Yeah, hit once, missed the other time. You know, I just realized these guys don't seem that intent on fighting me, so let's, uh. Let's just walk away. Nothing says I actually have to fight these guys. Um, I'm still in combat. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over here. What is that thing? You need three action points. Well, I can move once and then it'll... What the shit is that? Critically hit seven point the bruise. Oh, there we go. Got it again. Um, so what is this thing here that I need to be punching? I have 89% chance to hit it. And it's a... Oh, it's a le... It's a lesser mole rat? That's a massive fucking mole rat. And that's way bigger than the fucking ones in 3 were. Also, it's taking a lot... Well, okay, never mind. I I got it down in two shots. I was about to say it's taking a lot more damage than, you know, you would think it would, but... Um... Yeah, if they're gonna do this, let's just end combat until... 
For crushing your enemies, you were in 98 experience. I love how it says for crushing your enemies. Um, is that just because I'm using brass knuckles, or... Would it be different if I was using a knife? Yeah, actually, you know what? Hold on. Um, let's talk about the gun, because it doesn't appear... It, the gun is kind of worthless in this game. It's a bit disappointing, really. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go to having the knife. Yeah, it does slightly more damage, but it can also do slightly less. Um, I'm assuming... You know, let's actually try it just for this, this one thing. Let's see how good melee weapons are. Okay. A rat has come. Let's see, what is the, uh, bonus base to hit? 58 per... I missed. And I'm... Was hit for... Oh! For 15 hit points. Well, there we go. Knife is kind of awesome. Ow. Oh, miss. See, I feel like these enemies are more my speed. Rather than fighting, like, the rad scorpions of death that kept poisoning me and making me waste my stim packs, th this is more along the lines of what, like, I should be doing. Just, just fighting, just fighting small rats. This is, this, this is my life. This is my ability. I can kill tiny things, but I can't really do stuff that actually, you know, actually knows how to fight. Um... You see elevator shaft. Do I have to go down the elevator shaft? Elevator shaft is not easily ascended without a. Well, where's the rope? But where's where's the fucking rope? Is there a rope somewhere? Ooh, let's use the computer. Computer's broken. No, oh, that's they're always fucking broken. Wait. Monitor is worthless. Oh, I can just look at stuff from wherever I want on the screen. Monitor is worthless for broken display. Um. Uh, bed. Can I sleep on the bed? No, nope, apparently I can't. Okay, so evidently I need a rope before I can do anything in this area, so let's go find a freaking rope. Also, what it. Oh, that's, a, that's just the door. The door got broken off. Um. Yeah, so. Hmm. We'll have to go back to Shady Sands and see. I do have some Rad Scorpion Tails I can trade for a rope. I'm sure that'll that'll go over all well. Um, ooh, also, what's to say you get to the next level? It, it looks like it says a thousand, but I can't really tell. Kind of level up at least once before I go anywhere, so let's, uh... Yeah, screw it. Let's just kill a bunch of giant rats until, uh... Until I level. Ow. Uh... And, yep, right click and stab him. Seven points and was killed. Wow, these are really weak rats. Not that I'm complaining, mind. Oh, that, that one attacked twice. That's not fair. They're not supposed to be allowed to attack twice. Uh, miss. And... You know what? I think I am going to go back to the, uh... To the brass knuckles. Um... Mostly for the higher hit, but also because the knife... The knife now, for some reason, the knife was doing awesome. It did 15 da damage the first time I used it, and now it's just, like, failing. So, uh, let's give it a break, and let's go back to using Brass Knuckles. Um... Hit for 6 points, and killed. Okay. Um... Yep, let's go fight some more rats. Also, I do love how, like, when I switch to the little reticule, I can actually see where all possible bad guys in the area are. Um... Makes things a little easier to try and find, because, yeah, it, this is zoomed out really far. And I'm, I'm assuming it would normally be, like, smaller and closer together, but when I tried to do that with OBS, it just, like, it captured most of my desktop. And, yeah, I, that's not what I wanted. Um, right, there we go. And I let it move once, and I punch it. Oh, and it's dead. Again, it got attacked. It got to attack twice. It's not supposed to be able to attack twice. I'm the only one that gets to attack twice. Makes more sense that way. There we go. 
And we could probably end combat for now. How much experience do we get for all that? For uh, all those rats? 50! Bullshit! I just got a shit ton of giant rats, okay? I'm also down to 17 HP again, so... Yeah, this doesn't appear to be the best way to grind for experience for a level up. Which I kind of want. Um... Yeah, climb the ladder back up. I, I guess we don't really have much of a choice. We need a rope from somewhere. Um, I'm also starting to figure out some of the other logic in this game, because that sand that was a different color was apparently the exit. And um, not only did Shady Sands have that, but the cave I was in had that. So, learning things, learning things. Uh, what's randomly down here? Let's just, let's go exploring. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, there is a thing. Desert. What's in the desert? Um, well, yep, yeah, this is, this is definitely desert. I, I see lots of desert things. Ooh, maybe, is the rope here? Do I have to come here to find the rope? This was coming out around the same time as a lot of the old style Sierra Adventure games, so it might have a similar lot. Or is this just, hold on, let's see what if I can look at things. Look at the cactus. You see nothing important about this cactus. Can I look at the, uh, shrub? Um, how about the rocks? Rocks, rocks, rocks. Everywhere you look, rocks. Uh, what about the bones? You cannot determine the species. Hold on. Hold on. What does that mean? Oh, I can use a skill on things. Oh, skills! Um, so I can sneak, I can use a lockpick, steal, I can, set a, I can set a trap in this one. Interesting. Uh, heal myself. Doctor. What's the difference between first aid and doctor? Okay, granted, they are admittedly two different skill sets. That's why they don't call medics doctors. Because, and this is true, doctors heal people, medics just make you more comfortable as you're dying. Um, so that's a fun fact of the day. And apparently science is the best skill of them all. Let's use science on the pile of bones and see what we find out. Find out. You fail to learn anything. <laughs> I feel like that's going to kind of be the story of this whole run through, quite, quite frankly. Um, I fail to learn anything. Let's go down here now. Let's see. Let's see if we can find anything else around the area. Oh, more desert. Are they just randomly going to put... You know what? I'm just not going to go into the desert unless I have a reason to. Um. Yeah, let's, let's go to the far, farthest reaches of the map. This. What the... Oh, a city! We found a city! A ruined, bombed out city, but we found a city nonetheless. Um, anything interesting in this city? What, what if we do this? Yeah, this should show us any enemies on map. No enemies, and no, no, it... You know, Fallout is kind of notorious, at least in, you know, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. It is kind of notorious for, um, what's the word? Having a bunch of random bombed out cities in the middle of nowhere. But there's usually shit in them. I mean, at least, like... At least, you know, the random odd, like, uh, you know, stack of caps or pistol or ammunition or something. Something that is, that's useful. Um, so to go through an entire city and several desert areas and find nothing... Yeah, like, this, this just seems a bit... This is kind of a dick move, just randomly finding shit that doesn't do anything. Um, let's go all the way to the very, very bottom corner. Let's just see what's here. Um, more desert, jeez. Come on, game, this is supposed to be a semi-interesting run-through of me just randomly doing shit for no reason. Um, what's there? More desert. Okay, anything interesting here? Uh, more desert, nope, we're not gonna actually search that part of the desert. Or that thing. Ooh, that's a thing over there, it looks like. What? What? Oh! Oh, combat is happening! Combat is happening! Okay, I have to beat up a bunch of mole rats. That's, sh that's fine. Did you seriously just miss twice? Oh, shit, biscuits. Oh, I'm, I'm about to take a lot of damage here. This is not good. Oh, please do not let me get killed by mole rats. Please do not let that be a thing that happens. Fuck. Fuck! I mean, they're only even doing a point of damage to me. 
Um. Okay. I might be able to outrun them. That could be a thing. They don't appear to be able to move very quickly. Yes. Let's make for the nearest exit. <laughs> this this is the slowest combat encounter ever. Uh okay. Yep, yep, yep. And just running, just running, not even gonna deal with this. Not even gonna gonna get involved with, with psychotic lesser mole rats at all. Uh, you know, I might have actually tried and considered doing this if I had done any damage at all. Wait, greater mole rats? Oh shit, that's why I'm not doing anything. They're not lesser mole rats, they're greater mole rats. Um, and I think one of them might be about to hit me, although... Although, they were only doing a single point of damage to me. There's just a lot of them, and they're not taking much damage. Or I have a very... Actually, what is the, uh, the... To hit with them? Hold on, I'm just gonna check this real quick. 83% and I was still missing! Yeah. With 19 HP, no real way to... I also came across another realization that I'm probably going to... Check out the next time I get a chance to do so. Um... Ow! There, oh, miss. Miss. And... Run away! We did it. I could probably go back there and do that. I, I don't freaking really want to. But let's go here instead. Let's see what's right there. Um, That appears to be another city. A really dark city. Um, Yeah, this also doesn't appear to have anything. Well, that this is just flat out not even... Like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, even. Okay. Ah! That's what I wanted to check. This is what I wanted to check. Because I'm not going to use more than one weapon at a time, and I feel like I'm not going to, because I don't really have enough points in anything else. Or I'm not really good enough with anything else to justify it. Um, I might as well just have stim packs there, so I can heal myself. Also, how much AP does it cost you? Two AP. So, so if I... If I... Because I only have... This would work a lot better with a gun. I could shoot and then use a uh, stim pack. If I had just one more AP, I could punch twice, then use a stim pack. Um, and that could be my, my, my action every time. Um, Alright, well, I guess there's nothing here, so let's just, uh, let's just book it on out and let's, uh, keep, keep exploring. Explore the wasteland. That's, that's what this is all. Oh, dicks. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot more stuff here as well. Um, doesn't look like I can actually... Wait, can I go this way? Can I actually go through mountains? Is it going to let me do this? Well, it's going to have a thing or two to say, Oh, are those ghouls? Oh, no, they're raiders. Oh, well, shit, I can deal with raiders. Raiders are easy. I, I say that. I'm probably going to end up dying here for just trying to deal with it. Uh, move down and punch. Um, why can I not punch? Okay. And punch. Raider was hit for 10 hit points. And I guess I have to end the turn. And he punched me for one hit point. Oh, this is going to be fucking easy. This is going to be really fucking easy. I have to fight two guys who are just going to, like, punch me in for minimal damage. Yep. Well, wait. Punch. Why can't I punch him? Punch. Miss. Come on. Stop missing. Ah, there he goes. And we're going to move up one, two... Oh, he's got to go pick up his spear, is, is he? Oh, but he can't do anything else. That's a shame. That is just a nasty, nasty shame. Um, only eight, eight hit points. Okay, so not fantastic, but, uh... Hey, I haven't taken that much damage from these guys, so... Oh, shit, I just took a lot of damage from these guys. Um, okay. If this punch doesn't kill him, I might have to use a stim pack so I don't die. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a stim pack. Are you seriously running away from me? You're not allowed to do that. Alright, I'm gonna move. Hold on. I thought I had two stim- Oh, do I have to put them- Let's put them all in there separately. Tell me I don't- Or do I not have- 
I have a bad feeling about the reason I don't have an extra thing there. Um, but let's end the turn right now and get some extra... Oh, is well, he just gonna run away? Then fuck this shit. Um, I'm not gonna go after him. I'm just gonna let him chill over there. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna search his friend. Uh, ooh, 21 caps. Another pistol. And some ammo. Done! So let's just start walking, I guess, because he's gonna he's gonna book it out of here very quickly. Or he's just gonna chill out over there, I'm not sure. Actually, can I go after him? What happens if I try to go after him? He withdraw! Nope! No, you're not doing that. I'm I'm just gonna keep chasing you. Oh you're Oh you're gonna bullshit that thing, are you? Um Well fine, I guess we'll just leave then. I mean, if we can find another civilization spot, I now have two guns. Um, I, I do actually need to go in here. For, uh, I need to check my inventory real quick. Cause, okay, I do have one other stim pack. Um, yeah, and then I might just have to put one of the guns in there and, and use, use a gun when things go to hell. Although, admittedly, the gun doesn't seem to do that much damage, and I don't have a very good to hit with it. So, maybe not the best idea. Um, I feel like there's something important I was supposed to be working on, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. Because now I'm in the point, I mean, now I'm in just, you know, explore mode, find out what all is in the wasteland. Um, I'm trying to look for more of those, like... Um, glowing green circles, because those tend to mean things are happening. Ooh, and another encounter! What's happening here? What the fuck is that thing? I received a large dose of radiation! Uh-oh. What the hell is this thing? Please tell me it's not what I know it is. Um. Hold on. Let's look at this. You see... What the hell is that thing? Why is it not telling me what it is? Let's see. If I punch it... Floater. What is a float? Floater? What the hell is a floater? Um... Hopefully this thing doesn't actually kill me right here, because it very well might do. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Shit! Um, okay. Um, commencing operation, run the fuck away. That is what we're doing right now. Um, what, I don't know what this thing is, but it was clearly a bad idea to attempt to fight it. Hopefully it won't get him to move and an attack. Um, yes. Let's go down here. Uh, don't attack me, please. And there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm down to seven hit points. So I'm not doing great. Um <clears throat> Yeah, let's let's just keep going, shall we? Um also Um yeah, I'm gonna use my last stim pack. Oh, I've i I've been getting a lot more hit points than I thought. Well that's annoying. I think I've just wasted another stim pack. Uh, well, in that case, let's, uh, I'm wondering what's all the way down here at the furthest south corner of the, of the map. I, I am a little bit curious as to, oh, fuck. Um, pack of bizarre creatures. Oop, hold on, nope. No, no. Brass knuckle. I am surrounded. I am fucking surrounded. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I can actually take out just one of these things, I might be able to run away again. Floater hit for four hit points. And, um, then, let's try to move away. Uh, that could have gone better. 
Um, all of this could be going much better than it is. Uh, shit. No, no. Please do not take a chunk out of my face. I like my face. It is... No, I, I paid a lot of money to get my, a female face like this and... And... Oh! Damn it. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Right. So, maybe not the best choice of plan to explore around. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> well, that was, uh, that was Fallout 1. And, um, apparently, uh, I guess now Vault, whatever Vault that was, is never going to get its water chip, and about four to five months from now, they'll either all die or realize that there's a greater world out there. Although, although if my room was any indication, they probably won't fare too well. Um, so I guess, I guess, I guess some things weren't meant to be. But, uh, yeah, um, a little bit obtuse of, of a run for me. I couldn't quite figure out what I was supposed to be doing. I knew I had to go get the water chip, and granted, after a while, I just started messing around for whatever reason. But, yeah, the rope. I, I think... Did I have to go buy one from Shady Sands? I might have had to go do that. Um, it wasn't very clear. Um, also wasn't very clear how, like, uh, why I was missing so much with the gun. That seems a bit odd that having a, uh, having 63% in gun skill meant that, you know... Because 63, 63 points in small guns in New Vegas and 3, and granted I understand that those are more shooters than anything else, 63 points in those skills in that game will basically guarantee that you're you're hitting and doing a lot of damage. Um, so I, I, I don't know. Maybe just maybe that's just a base percentage and they have defense bonus that they get to add in and maybe maybe you have to go higher than hundred percent. I don't know. There are some games that I've seen where that happens. I don't know enough about the game, but I have I'll be honest, I have enjoyed it. I have kind of enjoyed seeing, you know, the old school um, early, early days of Fallout and uh, just more more of what I kind of would expect Fallout to be like. Because, I mean, you have three, which was... I mean, yeah, it was kind of barren and everything, but, uh... You, you could get built up very, very quickly. There was a town and a house you could get very, very early. And you, you could feel very secure very early on if you knew what you were doing. New Vegas was just more of... Less of a post-apocalyptic... Hold on. Uh, that's doing thing. Yeah. Fallout New Vegas was less of a post-apocalyptic survival-a-thon. And more of just, like, an Old West uh, epic. I guess there's probably, like, a better word for that. But, like, it, fe it felt like a Western... Fallout New Vegas did, um, and I never, I never really felt in a position of weakness other than when I tried to, uh, when I tried to go past Sloan to get to New Vegas and discovered a bunch of really big nasty monsters who wanted to rip my face off. Um, but this, this definitely feels oppressive and harsh, and pretty much anything I would expect out of a, uh, out of a survival apocalypse game. Um, so that's that's always nice. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys have too. And uh, I'll keep my eye on the lookout. There's there's a few other games like the Sun Good Old Games. I'll probably be posting my run throughs, checking out a a few of those different ones. Maybe maybe some of the old school adventure games. You know, spoiler alert. Um, which if if old school adventure games are what you what you enjoy, tune in next week to watch me and Luca. Maybe look at one or two of them. Uh, but yes, that that'll do it for this run. Thanks as always for tuning in, guys. I'm Ben. This has been the original Fallout. See you next time, everyone.